Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to sponge paint a wall. This will be a full tutorial and also an easy tutorial, so let's get right into the video. Now, first and foremost, what kind of sponge can you use? Well, the most recommended type of sponge is a natural sponge, like a sea sponge. But at the end of the day, you can use any type of sponge that has these sporadic sort of holes in it. A sea sponge will give you a more sporadic look, um, but something like this, as long as it has these big holes, in it then you can use it and also you can even dig deeper holes you can take any sharper utensil like a knife or even something like this which is just like a spackling knife and you can even dig out parts of the sponge to make it even more sporadic okay so any sponge that has these sporadic holes will work and the coolest thing about it is that this is actually a sponge from a mop this is from a roller mop um, so you can use anything now, I'm gonna be doing this on cardboard, but the cardboard is gonna be representing the wall, and usually you would have your wall painted and dried first. So you wanna make sure your wall is painted and dried, um, but I'm gonna be showing you the method for sponge painting, um, because I don't care how you paint the wall, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a sponge after you've already applied your base coat of paint. I'm also gonna be using this sample paint that my wife got when we were painting a few rooms in the house. So I'm just kinda of reusing things that I already have, um, and this just goes to show you that you can sort of learn using anything. You don't need professional tools. I'm using this all, all this stuff that would have likely gone in the garbage at some point. So what you want to do is you want to start off sometimes with a damp sponge or a dry one. But at the end of the day, you want to make sure you're not getting a lot of paint on it. You just want a little bit of paint on it. So I'm going to take this sponge right here. I'm going to try and not get my hands too dirty. Um, I'm going to grab the sponge like this. I'm just barely dipping it in the paint at all. And I'm really making sure that it's not dripping with paint. So as you can see right here, as you can see, uh, I'm, there's not paint dripping out of it. I've scraped off as much paint as I can. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take it and we're gonna just press it and release it. Press it and release it. So you can see already the, the type of pattern that we're creating. I'll zoom in in a moment. But what you wanna avoid is this. As you can see, you don't wanna have sporadic spots like that. It won't look good. You wanna do the press and release uh, method like I just showed you, um, but you wanna do it overlapping okay so once again make sure um you don't have paint dripping off your sponge you want it to be like that just barely damp with paint at all but you want to let's say i'm doing this area press and release just like that overlapping just like that check that out right there once again i'm overlapping over the spots that i already did now as you can see we're getting a really good effect and like i said this is not an expensive sponge or anything like that. Look at that beautiful effect. This is not anything expensive. This is literally, I think I paid a few bucks for a massive amount of this that is meant for a mop, okay? Once again, you don't need expensive stuff to make good things, to make things look good. Pressing and releasing, and you can go faster, but the idea is that we're not dragging, we're not pressing and dragging, I'm pressing and releasing. As you can see right there, as long as you fully take that sponge off of the wall, and I'll show you what it looks like now. As long as you fully take that sponge off of the wall, well, I didn't even get my hands dirty at all, which is great. Um, it's gonna look fantastic. So what I'm gonna take, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the camera, we're gonna zoom in to show you a better view of what it looks like. As you can see right there, um, that in my opinion is the perfect sponge painted wall look. Looks incredible. Um, it's just a matter of doing the entire wall and having a back color. So obviously you need a color behind it um, and then that will give you the look that you want. And the cool thing is it creates almost like a marbling sort of effect when you do it properly. And you can use a sea sponge or a natural sponge. Those are gonna cost you probably upwards of $10 just for a single sponge and you can reuse them. You can rinse them out and reuse them. Um, however, if you have an old sponge lying around, you know, I cut off another piece, like just something like this from a, a, a mop. You can use this too, as you can see, it works fine. The most important thing is the technique, 
press and release, press and release, and overlapping, not sporadic like that one over there. We want to overlap. That's it. That is basically how to sponge paint a wall and get this great look and effect on the wall. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.